What's going on Libra and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to your August 2021 tarot and astrology reading. This is for Libra risings the most, but also Libra suns and moons can resonate with this as well. Uh, this is a general reading, so keep that in mind. Not everybody is going to resonate with every single message. So, um, and if you don't resonate, if you're watching it like early in the month, come back later in the month because things can change, you know? So keep that in mind as well. So let's get into it, Libra. August is a month where for you guys, there's a lot of focus on the bigger picture, on what it is that you want to do in the world, in your life, what it is that you feel like maybe you're missing out on. Um, you know, you really are just wanting to live your life to be seen right to be recognized for the things that you're doing you're really wanting um, a sense of respect i feel like um, there's going to be a lot coming up here with friends and social groups and um, the aspirations that you have in terms of your life but your ruling planet venus is in the sign right before yours so basically the 12th house area it's kind of like hidden from us right because it's behind us so therefore this could be bringing up a lot of past things uh it could be a time where you are really having to reflect on um certain situations in your life where you are having to address certain issues that maybe you've been putting off or avoiding um that you know you are really needing to see something from different perspectives and focus on the small little mundane things that you've not been focusing on okay that have grown bigger and bigger and bigger and now it's like okay i need to finally see this through i need to finally focus on this um mars is also going to be in your 12th so there could be a lot of obsession about certain things a lot of annoyance or frustration about certain things but on the other end of the spectrum you could be getting a lot of things done um, you could be working behind the scenes at something you could be doing a detox you could be uh, working on your health you could be um, you know kind of taking a break to from other stuff to actually work on things that you want to that you need to work on um, and so August is kind of going to be a month where you are kind of caught between certain responsibilities that you have um, that are tying you to certain situations, certain people, um, possibly even family or children versus your own dreams, your own aspirations, your own sense of what you want to do in the world. Um, your own passions, your own drive, your own ambitions, right? Um, and so, you know, this month is going to be a time where you're really kind of seeing these different themes come up. Um, also, before I started, I thought this was interesting. The Justice card came out, um, then the High Priestess, and then the Tower. And so right away, this tells me this is going to be a month where it's like you maybe in a situation where the best way I can explain this is either you're making a decision or the decision is made for you and you know that that decision or that situation is going to is fair like you understand that it's fair and it's just but at the same time um it's like something that you know but you've maybe been putting it off and so this month it's like I need to strip away something or I need to, I, I, there's going to be major breakthroughs this month, basically, for you, Libra. There's going to be major breakthroughs and things that are holding you back, holding you back from your potential, from being yourself, um, you know, where you've been spending a lot of time and energy on others or where you've been needing to help others in some way, shape, or form. Um, and maybe it's not necessarily been 100% fair. Um, maybe what I'm kind of getting here, Libra, is like you could be in a situation that you feel like is not like equal or uh, just or not just because we do have the uh, we do have the justice card, but 
it's more like there's a situation where it's like very one-sided is kind of what I'm getting here. And it's like, you've been giving a lot, but that giving hasn't been reciprocated. And it was supposed to be kind of like an equal thing, but it ended up not being an equal thing. And so what I'm kind of getting here is that with this justice card, high priestess and tower, it's like, you know, that there's a storm coming or a major breakthrough, shake up change that needs to happen here. And it's like, you're kind of at this point where you're like, you know what, um, I can't keep being blind to the truth anymore. I can't keep being naive to certain things anymore. I need to speak my truth or I need to say something. I need to get it out. Um, I need to express myself. I need to get it out in the open, even if that means it comes across sharp or pointed or... Um, something like that it's like you know with this high priestess here that something has to change something has to give and with all this this virgo energy it literally is like you know it, it literally is like completely rooting up something to change it to make it more uh comfortable or better for you uh to make it less turbulent, less pointed, less um, hard, basically. Um, and so I feel like you're going to be in a situation where it's like you've or you've been in a situation that's felt maybe very one sided, um, very kind of like you've maybe felt trapped in that situation. But this month, it's like you have an opportunity to rest and renew to completely tear up what is not working in order to make something new that does work for you. And it's kind of this energy of like, you know, are you going to do it? And maybe there needs to be some planning involved um, in order for you to get to a place where you're stable enough to do it or financially stable enough to do it. But either way, it's time. And that's what I'm getting here, even the judgment card. It's time. You can't keep moving back and forth. You can't keep questioning it. It's like, no, we have to move forward. You have to stand your ground. Um, and it may not be easy, um, but it is what's going to be worth it. So I don't know who needed to hear that or if anyone needed to hear that, but that's kind of what I'm getting in your cards so far. Libra. Um, it's just a lot of <sighs> purging out anything from the past that you don't want to move forward with, right? Like, um, and that could be as simple as a detox for some of you, like I said, um, like, you know, doing something for your health, detoxing, um, and like a health related way, or it could be something that's like, you've been seeing a certain illusion of something for a long time and now it's like it's time to move on like you're seeing the truth or the reality you're being kind of pushed or forced to be more practical about it and you're being pushed to really speak what's on your mind and stop turning your head the other way right um and so i feel like that is kind of uh, some messages that I have so far. So we have a new moon in Leo on August 8th. And I think that that is definitely going to bring some new beginnings in regards to what it is that you, um, want for your future, what it is that the kind of people you want to be around, uh, the kind of things that you want to do, where you want to live your life, where you want to have fun, certain aspirations that you have, uh, certain things that you need to do to accomplish your goals, basically. Um, and <clears throat> so I think that you're really going to realize that and you're really going to have to, it's really going to show you where you need to break free of certain financial commitments that are no longer or any kind of commitment where you're kind of sharing anything, but something that is no longer working for you. Some kind of transaction or tie to someone or something that is holding you back. 
Um, yeah, we just got the card movement, which really goes with what I was saying um, before. You know, it really is like <clears throat> breaking out of your shell and completely tearing things apart in order to reorder them is really the theme that I'm getting here. The weaver. Yeah. And the void reverse. Interesting. So I feel like, Libra, you guys are weaving together different, you know, and that's what this, that's what Virgo is really about. And we have Mars and Venus and Virgo, the sun and Mercury moving into Virgo later this month. You know, it really is like weaving together different, um, a little bit of this, a little bit of that kind of thing. You know what I mean? To make it something that is perfect for you, to make it something that is enough or good enough for you. And this is, that's what you're really seeing. Where have you been allowing certain situations, people in your life um, that are not good enough for you to dictate your life? right, or to somehow have an effect on your life that is not helping you in some way. Um, and so this month you're like, okay, no, we're done with that. Um, I'm sick of feeling empty while everybody else around me is full and it's time to move. It's time to do something uh, is really what I'm getting here. But let's get a few more cards and see what else comes out here. And Venus is going to be trining Uranus at uh, some point as well, too. Um, really that like first week of, uh, of August. And so you're really going to be faced with getting out of your comfort zone, doing something different, um, you know, breaking free from certain uh, restraints or commitments or financial situations that are no longer serving you. Um, you know, getting rid of somebody else's shit in your life, uh, somebody else's energy, somebody else's stuff. <laughs> so we have stand your ground. There you go. Let's see what else uh, comes out here. And then also Venus is going to be opposite Neptune uh, towards the 9th of August. And so this is really kind of waking up from an illusion. You know what I mean? And I really feel like this is going to be a time where it's like, whoa, I have been lying to myself in some way or somebody else maybe has been lying to me or I've been feeding myself this, you know, vision in my head that's really not true. You know what I mean? So we have this sun and then we have this six of pentacles again. And so it's like something's coming to light about some kind of transaction or exchange in your life, whether that be financial, whether that be job related, whether that be like an actual relationship or something, you know, something is coming to light with this this month. And I think you're really going to start seeing that. Um, so uh, Venus will enter your sign on August 16th. Uh, so she will be home. You will have your ruling planet home, which will start to feel a little more comfortable. Um, and you know, you're going to start feeling a little bit more like yourself. And this is like kind of, you know, like a mini rebirth period in a way, especially for Libra risings, like, wow, you know, like, and you're going to see where, you know, maybe you haven't been true to you. Um, maybe where you haven't been, maybe where you haven't been yourself for a little bit. And this is where you're going to really start wanting to do things for yourself more, um, you know, and really embrace the pleasure of Venus, the connect, yeah, the connection of Venus, connecting with more people, um, doing more stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, getting out and like flirting or socializing or going to the spa or uh, changing your wardrobe, changing your style, stuff like that is going to be really good uh, for when Venus kind of comes back into your sign. Um, so uh, another big thing that's happening is uh, Mercury will enter your sign at the very end of the month on the 29th. And this is going to be really important for you to pay attention to Libra because uh, Mercury is going to eventually retrograde next month. And so when Mercury enters your sign at the very end of the, your month, pay, or I'm sorry, not your month, this month in August, pay attention because whatever comes up around that time is probably going to trickle 
um, for the next couple months. Um, Mercury is going to be in your sign for a while, retrograding and moving forward. And so there is going to be a lot of emphasis on your sign after this month. And so I think this is why whatever is coming up this month is like preparing you. It's kind of like the pregame <laughs> um, of what's coming next month. So make sure that you're paying attention. Make sure that you are, um, you know, make sure that you're really aware and that you are not conforming too much, that you are uh, getting rid of shit that needs to get rid of, that you're focusing on the small things because they're adding up, okay? Um, you know, with Venus opposite Neptune as well, the first part of this month, there could be kind of like a, a sacrificing thing that comes up or a self-sacrificing thing, um, something like that. So you want to be careful with that as well. Awareness just came out right after I was talking about awareness. Um, this month is also going to be really good for getting back in touch spiritually. Okay, so meditation, uh, you know, whatever your thing is, devotion, prayer, whatever you need to do to get back in touch spiritually, maybe go see somebody that deals with like energy healing or something like that. That's going to be really important this month um, with all of these 12th house transits, especially opposing Neptune. Um, this is a time to really release and let go of certain things that you've been clinging to. Um, and, you know, really focus on your spiritual side, the spiritual side of things, because if not, there could possibly be, I'm not saying this is going to be for everybody, but there could be some health related stuff come up if you're not, um, you know, for some people, for some Libra risings, especially. Um, so really focus on your spiritual health, your physical health, try to get aligned within both of those things. Try to get a firm foundation with both of those things. Um, so you can, you know, possibly bypass any health issues that could be lurking around the corner uh, for anybody, uh, for any Libra rising. So Anyways, uh, that is what I'm getting for you guys, Libra, for the month of August. Hopefully this resonated for you. Uh, definitely feel free to let me know down below if it did. Um, as always, it would really help me out if you comment on the video, like, share, all of that jazz. And I will see you guys in my other videos. Thank you so much for watching.